go to an excerpt of your film that deals with sugarcane workers in Brazil. It features Jaime de Amorim of the Coordinating Landless People Movement and begins with uh, Maria Luisa Mendoza, president of the human rights group uh, Rede Social. Sao Paulo is the largest uh, state uh, that uh, produces ethanol in Brazil and at the same time is the richest state. And just to give you an example, uh, last year, 17 workers died uh, in the space where they work. They die of exhaustion. Another 419 workers have died in consequence of their work. Um, in addition to several cases of uh, slave labor in the sugarcane workers that uh, the Ministry of Labor has been registered. A visão que os empresários têm do trabalhador é ainda a visão de escravo. Eles não se vivenciaram. They haven't rebelled, so today growers have a much easier way to accumulate wealth than during slavery. Back then, the boss was a slave's owner. He had to take care of the slave's health and food. He had to take care of the shelter, even if it was the slave's quarters. Today, the boss has no such concerns. He just has to drive the truck to the outskirts of the city. The truck loads up, he takes them back, no more worries. How does that concept fit into your film, Philippe Diaz? Well, it's, it's the same if you want. What, what I try to, to show is that from the beginning, we continued the same system up to today. Just the tools change, you know, like slavery never, ne never stopped and uh, the pressure put on southern country never stopped. Now we use other kind of tools like John Perkins explained very well in the film, the tool of the economic hit men. We create fake debt, you know, we, we force people to privatize. And, and, and by the way, just as a, as a little example, you know, if I, if I, if I gave, you know, the, the, if, I, if I chose the title, The End of Poverty with a question mark, is to answer one of the eminent experts, you know, in America, which is Mr. Poverty in America, Jeffrey Sachs, you know, who ran around the world with Bono and the ministers and this and that, to explain that the way to end poverty is by giving mosquito nets and fertilizers. You know, in his book, you know, and he's credited, for example, in Bolivia for having ruined the economy of Bolivia by forcing massive privatization when he was an advisor to the then government. You know, and, and if you look at if you look at what's going on, in his, in what, the, the most important part is that in, in, his, in, in his book called The End of Poverty, he goes back to the Bolivian experience and says, well, it's, after all this time, you know, I, can co I can go back to the Bolivian experience and see what was really wrong. And I thought, oh, maybe he'll acknowledge that was a mistake, they should never have privatized, etc. He said, no, no, the real problem with Bolivia is altitude. The country is too high in altitude, it's why they are in poverty. So you can imagine that if you have these kind of experts who are ready to say these kind of things, you know, we are in very serious trouble because not only we have created this system, you know, for 500 years where we have been taking all the resources from countries and transforming their people in slave, but on top of that, we are continuing to to, to broadcast this kind of absolutely absurd ideas that by you know, bringing mosquito net and fertilizer will end poverty. And of course, as we know, this system has been built forever and just the tool change. Now we are not taking the land and the resources by way of the gun. We are taking the resources by way of debt, privatization, and other economic men who go there you know, and, 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 and buy, bribe, or have the president killed, as John explained very clearly, you know, in order to continue the same policy. Um, what do you hope to accomplish with this film? I think to, it, to show people that we are in a situation more dramatic than global warming today because, of course, global warming, as we all know, is extremely dramatic and in the next 10 years or 20 years, people will start to die massively because of global warming. But today, people are dying every day. You know, the, you know, the, the movie should be almost dedicated to the children of the world. That's why I put children all over the place because they are the innocent victim of that and the movie ends with this little child begging in the street. You know, Today, you know, you have 20,000 children who die every day, you know, because of the poverty issue. And they only, die be they only die because they are poor and they are poor only because we are rich, you know. And unless we understand that and we take matter in our own hands. And do and, what? And, well, the, the movie brings a lot of solutions, you know, from political solution like agrarian reform, ending the monopoly of the natural resources, changing the tax system. They should never be taxed on consumption or labor. You know, they should be taxed on property ownership. You know, and to to the major one of the ma what, what, one of the key experts at the end of the film said the oh, the solution is called degrowth. 
and degrowth. De degrowth from the north, of course, because there is no other way. And either we, we accept that millions of people will die, so we can continue to grow or even stay stable, or we will have to degrow. Degrow doesn't mean necessarily drive more, eat less, or et cetera. It means, like as he says, it means work less. What about if we work five hours a day and consume less but consume better? You know, that's all the movement which is, which is starting in the world. And, and there is no other way. Again, it's a mathem mathematical problem. It's not even a political problem. It's a mathematical problem. We have, today, because of the system we created, we cannot feed billions of people, clearly. When the resources of the planet are well sufficient to, to feed all these people, but because of our system, this inequality we created by way of the GAN, you know, these people will die, you know, million by million. Well, Philippe Diaz, I want to thank you for joining us. The film is The End of Poverty, and we're going to go 